All right, um, so someone criticizes you for some behavior. Yeah, for some behavior. And as you are criticized, you feel bad. Now, why do you think you feel bad? Because it's not the truth. But you see, this is the thing. You think you feel bad because they misunderstand you. You think... Who is it? <laughs> it's one of them. One of them. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> You think that you feel bad because they are misunderstanding you and judging you incorrectly. But the reason you feel bad is because you are judging them about their judging. Mm. Now, yeah. let's, uh -huh. let's back up and go after that again. In other words, so let's say someone's having a very bad day and you don't know why, but they are. They usually do. And... <laughs> And, and now you're interacting with them in some way. And now their bad day is sort of spilling over into your experience. And let's say you were feeling pretty good before their bad day spilled over into your experience. So now you're not having as good of a day as you were before. And it's their fault because they're spilling over into your experience. Well, the reason you feel bad is because you've just given them your power. You've said... I can't feel good as long as you feel like that and I can't control the way your wife treats you. I can't control the fact that you're deep in debt and your mother is sick and your children don't like you. I can't, I can't control all of those things in your life that are spilling over into my experience and so I feel bad because you feel bad. And we're saying to you, the reason that you feel bad is because you're letting that condition run your life, a condition over which you have no control. So if you could stand back and say, wait a minute, I'm not feeling bad because you don't like me. I'm feeling bad because I don't like you not liking me. I'm feeling bad because I care more about what you think than about closing my gap. Somehow I've trained myself to care about your response to me instead of my response to me. Mm. Now, what would my inner being think about you? Well, my inner being wants your life to go better. And my inner being understands that you're having a bad day. And my inner being knows that in the bad day that you've been living, friend, that's making me unhappy, in the bad day that you've been living, you put a whole bunch of stuff in your vibrational escrow and my inner being and your inner being are over there with those things. I think I'll go over there too. I think I will imagine your world getting better. I think I will understand that you're just flailing about because you're out there on that raw and ragged edge. You are a lover. You must love. The other head of the two-headed monster loves them. So when you say inner being, I want to know what you think, you're going to have some serious conversations. You love them. Why? You love them, but did you see? Do you see how they treat me? Do you see how they treat their wives? Do you see what they're doing? And the source within you would say, no, we see not that. We see not that. We turn the other cheek. We do not give our attention to those aspects. We acknowledge that they exist. And out of that contrast is born the true person, the true becoming person. But we always give our undivided attention to the loving, progressive, evolving, amended being that everyone is becoming. And your dear heart is what your inner being would say to you in helping you to understand. You're stuck in the contrast. You see, you wanted the contrast to help you to expand, but you never intended to beat the drum of what is not wanted in order to defend or justify the having of what is wanted. Did you hear that? That's what so many people do. We see, even with Esther, she'll get on something that bothers her. And she will say, oh, Abraham, you got to give me this one. You know I'm right. You know I'm right. You saw what happened. You know I'm right. But we never give it to her. We, we never, ever, ever give it to her. If Esther wants to play with us, Esther has to come to where we are. We will never go to that dark place to play with her. The source within you never goes there. You've got no choice if you are to feel good other than to go to where the good is. How That's you... why guidance is guidance, mm -hmm. you see. Mm -hmm. If your guidance system in your vehicle, if you program in where you want to go, as to programs in the destination, and if the guidance system says, you're already there, Esther would say, no, I'm not. 
I'm not a guy. Yeah, you're already there. We think this is good enough. <laughs> you don't want that kind of guidance. You want the guidance to show you the way to where you want to be. And it's always a trail of something that feels better and better and better and better and better and better and better. Always feels better. What do you do when you're surrounded by, I mean, with so many people around you and everyone has such a strong opinion about things and, you know. Step back from it a little bit, you know, the further back you step, the better they all look. Esther's found that out <laughs> about the camera. <laughs> okay. Get it back, get it back, get it back. She yeah, says, yeah. back off, yeah, okay. back off, back off. <laughs> The, the further back you go, the better, the better you look. Looks. Perfect. Yeah. It's not about you. They're looking at you and they're talking to you and they're talking about you, but it's not about you. Everybody's just trying to feel a little better. And if you could not take it so personally, if you could stand back and think to yourself, this isn't about me. It's about them trying to figure out how to close the gap. And then you could say something back to them is, hey, don't be upset with me. I know who you are. Good things are coming to you. You're smarter than you know. You're saying that I think I'm smart and maybe I do and maybe I'm smart and maybe I'm not. But you know what? I think you're smart too. I've seen how you handle yourself. You're one of the smartest people I know. I was impressed when I saw you do this and this and this. And if you've practiced those things when you're in the privacy of your own bed or in the privacy of your own mind, if you've begun the habit of looking for positive aspects, even in those places where there aren't that many positive aspects, so that you activate within you some ready positive aspect feelings, and you get in a bind with someone and you start reflecting back to them some of who they are do you know what will happen because your inner being only sees their positive aspects when you start talking to someone about positive aspects even though you've worked hard to see them you come right into alignment with who you are and now guess what you and the source within you are shining your light on them and do you know that when you and the source within you are shining your light on someone else they feel better they don't feel worse if people are feeling worse and worse and worse around you, it's because you're doing the same thing that you are here accusing them of doing. Terrible. I don't want that. <laughs> I, I, okay, like I say, I don't want that. I learned to say I want. I, I learned to use, to remove words of negation, which is so hard. Use softer words. You see, we understand that sometimes you have to be sensitive about what those around you. In other words, a teacher is very wise when he understands where his student is. So when you know things that you'd like them to know and you're saying things that they don't know, they just get more and more annoyed at you because they want to know and don't know. So sort of ratchet it back a little bit. Don't be so open about what you're wanting them to know. But most of all, work on your own alignment and then watch how law of attraction brings you people that are ready for you don't try to answer questions that people aren't asking when it's like pushing a noodle when you offer an answer to a question that they haven't even figured out how to ask yet you are annoying to them you are butting into their experience in a way that you do not belong you say so just live your life live it as well as you can feel as good as you can and it is our promise to you that law of attraction will bring those to you who are ready for you when you are surrounded by one or two or a lot of people who are behaving the same way there's something going in on in your vibration that's calling them to you and so you say yeah that's right and I don't like it and we say well you know what you don't want what is it that you do want well I don't want them on my case what is it you do want I want people who know who they are to surround me I want evidence of well-being to surround me I want people who are supporting one another I want people who are looking for positive aspects I want to be around people who feel good more of the time I want to meet people who want to know what I know that I can offer solutions to them in soft and subtle ways I want to live an a never-ending example of improvement I want to be not only a good example to my children but I want to feel the good example to myself I want to be the person that I was born to be I want to more often easily line up with who I am I want to feel the ease of life as I come into vibrational alignment with who I am I want to know my well-being more of the time I want to know my well-being so much and be in alignment with my well-being so much and in connection with who I really am so much that that broader me can speak more often to those who are asking 
I want to be far enough from the fray that when they're asking I'm able to say to them in a soft way that they can be more receptive of I want people to feel the love that I am rather than the contradiction of that love I want things to keep happening and I want to keep living life in a real way I want people to continue to come to me and to be my manifestational indicator when someone's in my face they're my manifestational indicator when you got people in your face they are manifestational indicators of your vibration they're not doing something to you they're indicating something that you're doing to yourself they're indicators of your vibration they're indicators of your vibration that's who they are so you say oh blessed indicator I don't like what you're indicating I think I'll shift my vibration and bring some other indicators you see it's always the case everything that happens around you is up to speed with what's active within you blessed vibrational indicators good time for thank segment you. of lunch thank you yeah, thank you